Hey Aries, and welcome to your reading for today. This is gonna be your energy reading, the first part of your reading, uh, where we see what is going on with you at this time, okay? So let's see here, Aries, what is going on in your energy here? What is it that Aries needs to know about? Holy angels, divine angels, tell me, what is it that Aries needs to know about today? What's going on with Aries? What is going on with Aries here? Page of Pentacles, the Two of Wands. And the chariot. Nine of cups at the bottom. Okay, so this is about investing into something new. I don't know if you're getting started on something new here. Okay. This is about starting something new. A new project or a new business or something like that. You might be planning towards the future here. Okay, two of wands looking towards the future. Looking about what next step you can take here to move forward in your life, the chariot. You might be very determined at this time to move forward on something. You might have a lot of drive right now. You're trying to figure out what step you're gonna take next though. You're trying to figure out what step you're gonna take next, but you are very determined here. There's a lot of determination, a lot of drive. So let's see here, Aries, for you. What is the Page of Pentacles? Why is that here for you? I feel like you're trying to figure out what you're going to do next. What your next step is going to be. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles here for Aries, please. Okay, so... So you could be feeling, I don't know, like with the magician in reverse, maybe something hasn't worked out in the past, okay? This could be about losing confidence. Having to do with maybe something you've been working on for a long time. You've been putting a lot of work and effort into something here. You've been putting a lot of time, energy, and resources into something here. Hmm, okay. Tell me about the two of wands for Aries. temperance the eight of wands and the ace of swords so you're looking for right now you might be looking for some sort of guidance okay maybe you're looking for guidance from above temperance and the, you're looking for the truth you're trying to figure out what is the truth and i feel like you're looking for some sort of guidance okay i feel like your angels are going to bring it to you though okay your guides are gonna, uh, they're gonna guide you there. They're gonna, they're literally guiding you right to the truth, right to the answers, okay? So that you can take that next step forward. What's the chariot? Wow. Okay, so you might be gathering some sort of information here, okay? You're looking for information. Um, you could be feeling conflicted though. You're feeling conflicted. We'll have to see why. The Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Okay, let's get more into this, please. Um, tell me a little bit more about this piece of pentacles, please. The hermit. There's something that you're going within about here. You're contemplating something on the inside. You're thinking about something. You're trying to see into something. You're trying to investigate something, okay? Having, having to do with an investment or something to do with money. What was that? The two of pentacles. The Queen of Swords.
and a family situation. Why is there, I feel like there's something that's not clear about this page of pentacles, why? Because something is being held back or something was held onto. The star and the queen of wands at the bottom of the deck. Why is there something, what is this page of pentacles here? A great fortune. A page is not a great fortune. So this has something to do with like a payment or something like that. Or an investment, a payment or an investment that you're looking into regarding a queen of swords and a family situation. What's the magician reverse? Okay, we have the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Swords, the Three of Pentacles. So someone here could be worried about something, okay? They're stressed out about a collaboration. Um, they might have taken action based on this, okay? They took some sort of action to come forward or to say something or bring in some sort of information um, because they were worried and stressed out about a, about collaborating with someone else, okay? Who, who is this person here that took action to manipulate something? King of Swords. A King of Swords came in with some sort of manipulation because someone had walked away, walked away from a lover situation. So someone walked away from a lover or someone walked away from a lover's situation or a relationship. So a King of Swords came in with manipulation or wanted to manipulate something or create an illusion because they were stressed out and worried about some sort of a collaboration. What's the seven of pentacles? I just heard seek and you shall find, okay? King of cups. This has something to do with someone investing into something with a king of cups. feeling like they missed an opportunity. So someone here felt like they missed an opportunity. They felt upset about the results that they got. They felt like they weren't gonna get what they want. They felt unsatisfied with something, with the result of something that they had been working on and working towards here. What's the Knight of Cups? So they came forward with illusion so they came forward with an illusion. They created illusions here with lies. And this might have something to do with like defamation even, trying to ruin someone's character, assassinate someone's character, trying to embarrass someone here and humiliate someone with illusions and lies. The devil, exactly. With the devil. Trying to say that you are, you're toxic, you have toxic attachments. Or someone has toxic attachments, someone is, um, they lied. They tried to assassinate someone's character. They tried to defame someone here. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. A karmic relationship in reverse. What? A hand of cards. 
So they, yeah, they, they took a chance on something. They decided to take a risk and be strategic. They didn't show their hand though with lies and slander and gossip and defamation and illusions. What's the Seven of Cups? Watching, looking, stalking in reverse. Sunglasses in reverse. Self-indulgence. Self-indulgence? What? They decided to create illusions about self-indulgence. With a king of cups and a king of swords. Because someone walked away from a lover situation. Because somebody couldn't be trapped. Oh, because somebody couldn't be trapped in a sex trap. Wouldn't been, it wouldn't have been sex. It would have been violation and grape. So someone couldn't be trapped in a, in a, in a violation abuse trap. So they created illusions around self-indulgence. Meeting someone new, dating, planning, setting a date. Planning, setting a date. Planning, setting a date. Is this a path? Or is this what they did afterwards? The sort, this is truth and clarity coming in. This is clarity and truth coming in about a situation. I'm just not sure if they did this first or afterwards, okay? Like if they first tried to set up some sort of love messages about a date and that date didn't work, but they decided to use it anyways, or if they first set up the date, it didn't work, and then they tried to make up messages afterwards. I'm just not sure which way around that is, so. But they definitely lied. What does that have to do with um, money, though? Page of Pentacles, some sort of an investment. They thought they would be getting away with this because of money or a money investment. A money investment. A money investment in what? Five of Pentacles. They said something because someone is broke. Someone is broke. Because they said someone is broke. Uh huh. Page of Pentacles again. What is this? And the Queen of Cups. I keep wondering what the fuck is this? I'm going to have to do a crime reading on this one. They invested into something. They they paid for something to create an illusion here about someone dating someone, meeting up with someone. They thought this was their hand of cards because they created fake messages surrounding this. But they were stressed out because someone walked away. They weren't able to get someone trapped in their violation plan here. And then they had to create illusions. Okay, what's the two of wands? The king of pentacles. The hank man. Who's the king of pentacles? The world. The world? What? Who's the king of pentacles? High honor. High honor and child. Okay, so this king of pentacles is someone in higher authority. This is someone that could work in higher authority. This person could be seeing something now from a different perspective. About how, about a mature woman and imprisonment. So maybe about a mature woman and the child, okay? You could be this mature woman's child maybe. Or maybe a king of pentacles is understanding now why a mature woman came to them with a message of concern about a child. That's how she did it. 
That's how she did it. She pretended to be this caring, loving mother. Oh, I'm such a loving mother and I'm, I'm concerned about my child. Oh, that's how the narcissist did it. Okay, sure. Okay, that's what this King of Pentacles is seeing now is that a mother here to cover up this botched murder plot here and, and a handler violation plot that they had here with a lover. She came in towards the King of Pentacles and said, oh, I have to tell you something. I'm so worried about this child. Because of a Queen of Pentacles. Oh, because, oh, right. This is from, was it the crime reading? I don't remember. About the mother, I think it was from my reading from last night, right? Trying to save the hitman. So she had to come in and save the hitman and herself. And she did this by claiming she's trying to protect or she's concerned about her child. What a, what a B word. Yeah. Six of Swords trying to get out of what she did with the... So she hires... This mature woman hires a hitman, Queen of Pentacles. And to cover it up, she goes to someone in the authorities, this King of Pentacles, and says, I'm concerned about the child. I'm concerned about my child. Concerned about the child or concerned about yourself and the hitman? Wow. So what did this, um, this mother mother what did this queen of cups here say to the king of pentacles i'm so concerned here what did he what did she say that someone is codependent oh here this is this one okay came in and said you are codependent financially unstable um you would do anything for money you're broke and you're not able to provide for yourself and you would do anything for for money okay and then <laughs> Okay, this, and then she took this risk. So she took the risk here to the King of Pentacles to say, I'm concerned about a child. Yeah, with some sort of messages or communication or information. Hey, King of Pentacles in the police station, I have information for you. I'm so concerned about my child. And here, let me dump all of my crimes onto the child so I don't look suspicious, right? That's what she did. Okay, so tell me what is why is temperance here? Actually, first tell me about why this King of Pentacles is having a moment of enlightenment. Oh, about a Queen of Wands. He's having a moment of enlightenment about the Queen of Wands. Why? How this person wanted to win at all costs. How they tried to win at all costs. With a message. With messages. With the Queen of Wands. So he's connecting dots now. This King of Pentacles in the, that works in some sort of authority position. This person is now connecting the dots between the players. And how it all connects. And how... The even the Queen of Cups mother figure ties in with the Queen of Wands. Yeah, because they all had to keep the secret about the money, Ten of Pentacles. They all had to keep the secret about this large amount of money, whatever that is. So what is this what is this King of Pentacles connecting the dots on with this Queen of Wands here? That they lied and they held back information or they're trying or they tried to do something for money. Or that they or that there's something to do with money or a financial plan here. a main male that a queen of wands work together with a main male to win at all costs what's the page of wands 
poverty, a message about someone being in poverty, again, with this, someone is broke, someone doesn't have any money, someone uh, is broke. What is this here? Not enough. Someone is frustrated in a relationship, lacks confidence, and is jealous. So they try to say that someone is jealous and there's messages about someone being frustrated and lacking confidence and being financially unstable. And this is, okay, right, the slander, right? The defamation of character, all of this slander, this humiliation, this degrading, all that shit. That's when this came in, okay? Whatever. So what's temperance? Yeah, the truth is coming out here. There's somebody in this situation that is finding out the truth about what happened in the past. And this is divine intervention. This is divine intervention that the truth is coming out. This is giving me the advice reading from uh, Capricorn that I just did, where I said at the very beginning that the truth is going to be undeniable, okay? And what else is going to be undeniable is that it's God. And that it's the work of God and the divine and the angels that are bringing in. They are the they the other side, the spirit world, is what is bringing in this this clarity and truth. It's not humans on the human realm. It's actually the other side that is all seeing, and um, who is exposing this, right? So that's something that somebody could be witnessing right now, like in the flesh. Okay, they could be seeing this for themselves. Okay. The, the divine is bringing in this truth. It's illuminating the darkness. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Two of Pentacles in reverse. About how there's something about a Queen of Wands. This person is very significant right here. This Queen of Wands and that, that there was no cheating. There was no juggling. There was no multiple parties here. Or this Queen of Wands was not a choice. Somebody did not choose this Queen of Wands. She was not somebody's choice. Ten of, Ten of Swords. That this was betrayal here. That this was betrayal. What's the Ace of Swords? The, the truth about an Ace of Cups offer. The truth about a, an offer or a love offer or a love relationship. Ten of Wands and a burden. The truth about how uh, about a burden and bad news and how they lied. So somebody is definitely seeing the truth. Someone is connecting the dots also on this Queen of Wands and how she fits into this. Okay. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. The Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. How someone took action, this is fast action, this is fast, uh, very fast focused action on a betrayal, the relationship is over, maybe even on trying to end something for someone here with the Grim Reaper. Yeah, a goal, and that this person is a self-absorbed narcissist, a one-sided relationship, there was, whatever this was, it was one-sided because this person is an absolute narcissist. Now, what's bad news? Page of Wands reverse. Or what's the Ace of Swords? The truth about photographs. Someone here is seeing the truth about photographs and screenshots, maybe, or some sort of evidence that was turned in. What's the Ten of Wands? Stabbed in the back. This was a shocking attack. Stabbed in the back. They try to burden someone here and stab someone else in the back. What's the page of wands in reverse? Happiness, because it was bad news for a queen of wands that somebody had happiness and expansion and joy in their life. So it's kind of giving me also that a king of pentacles here is understanding the motives of this um, self-absorbed narcissist queen of wands and why she wanted to stab someone in the back why she wanted to attack someone else and why she was a part of this and it was because she didn't like that's what somebody was happy or a relationship was over
Tell me more about this here, this Queen of Wands connection. The Emperor and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, judgment. This Emperor is seeing something here about Nine of Swords. About a King of Cups and a Page of Cups. Or screenshots about someone's fears and anxieties being used against them. Betrayal. Some sort of screenshots that they took. Okay, this King of Pentacles has these screenshots and he's realizing that they use these screenshots maliciously with malicious intent. They um, manipulated the context of the messages they created false narratives around the context of these messages and they used it to their advantage in this betrayal. Yeah, these messages, this communication that was brought in. So this happened afterwards. All of this happened afterwards. That is what Spirit is telling, telling us. Because I've gotten this information in readings before, which is about them coming in with information and screenshots saying something about, you know, a relationship and and these screenshots about someone's fears exploiting these hacked messages for the betrayal. But this is what they did after the setup didn't work to cover up the setup. So this, this, okay, it's the timeline. This is part of the timeline. This happened afterwards. And now this emperor is connecting the dots on this whole plan. Okay. They must have done it though. I mean, there was there was time. Uh, I feel like there was like um, a time limit though. Somebody had to do this quick because they were they were running out of time for something. Okay, tell me about um, the chariot, please. The Eight of Swords. The Knight of Coins in Reverse. What, what do you mean with the Eight of Swords? Who's in the Eight of Swords? Judgment in Reverse. Heavy Judgment, Under Harsh Judgment. Or, no, that's why they moved so fast. The chariot, that's why they moved so fast. Just like I said, there was like a time, they, they were like running out of time, okay? There, there was something about like urgency here where they felt like they had to act quick, okay? The chariot. So they might have done some sort of fast, they took fast action here. Like it must have been like immediately afterwards, short afterwards, to put you under judgment. They had. They wanted to have you judged, They wanted to have you judged harshly. They wanted to get you trapped. <clears throat> Tell me more about the Eight of Swords and the Chariot, please. The Knight of Wands. In the home. With the Queen of Cups. So they, yeah, they, this was after this, right? This, um, what they tried to do to someone in someone's home. Or is this afterwards? Is this another plan that they had afterwards, after that initial plan didn't work? Truth. 
the truth about the Knight, Nine of Cups. This Queen of Cups could have planned something afterwards. And, I, and it doesn't have anything to do with them going to the police. It could have something to do with something with your house here. King of Swords. No, this is the King of Swords. A King of Swords that went to the police or went to a, an authority figure. Took a risk with these fears, with, the, with somebody's fears, with the screenshots, with the messages about someone's fears. Okay, that's what they did to cover up what had happened in a home, their, their botched plot in a home, to have you put under harsh judgment, yeah, to lie, to get away with it and to lie, to lie about what happened that day and to get away with it, to keep their secrets about a king of cups, to keep the secret about a king of cups and this person's involvement in a betrayal. Like, honestly, the reason why I'm just, like, thinking for a second is because, you know, yeah, they're, t they're telling more lies to cover up the old lies, to cover up the more lies, the old lies, and the old lies. But as long as you are walking this earth, there is no way that all of this could go through. Like, they're just covering up one setup that didn't work out. This is just what they did afterwards. What did they say to the police after that setup didn't work? But... Honestly, they had to have a second plan afterwards and they most likely did have multiple lined up plots afterwards and other traps because they still needed to get rid of you, okay? Like they cannot lie on all this bullshit without trying to get rid of someone. It doesn't make sense. They have to get rid of the person because this is too many lies. There was another plot. Strength, yeah. Tower, yeah. There was. High Priestess, yes. Yes, there was. Mm -hmm. Playing by the Page of Swords. Seven, seven. It has something to do with seven, seven could be significant. Seven, seven. Messages and communication. That was brought to the justice system. Seven, seven. Somebody brought communication and information to the justice system in order to lie about what happened at that house to cover it up here. To try and um, close that cycle out. What's the Wheel of Fortune? The Lovers. To claim that you, yeah, this is the truth, Emperor. The truth, Emperor, about this betrayal. And what they said about a King of Cups and this, this one night stand energy, this lover's energy here with this King of Cups, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. They planned it. They plotted it. They tried and attempted it, but it did not work because it's not true. It was a setup. It was a setup. It was a betrayal absolute betrayal and then after it didn't work they had to figure out how they're going to get out of it so they came up with other lies or something like that all right aries i'm going to leave it at that for the first part of your reading okay we'll see in part two if there's anything else you need to know and what your advice is okay so thanks for watching until next time bye